How do we use emotions effectively in storytelling? It's Wednesday, and Wednesday video time just in sixty seconds. We all know the use of word emotions is really important in storytelling. You describe emotion like this rather than saying I ran a project in China, project failed. I say I ran a project in China, the project failed. I'm devastated. Now the audience will think I'm devastated because I must have worked really hard on that project. It makes them feel and think about me in a certain way. But then there is a problem with that strategy. The problem is that in a business setting, it is really hard for people to put themselves at the forefront of emotion. A better strategy is to use passive emotion description. So you say. I ran a project in China. The project failed. The team was devastated, and so was I. As soon as you adopt that strategy, you feel a lot more comfortable describing an emotion.